couple of news items to get out of the way. First of all, uh, we did an episode a couple of weeks ago where we talked about Disney being our overlords. <laughs> and they've taken another step towards that this week. Uh, they've they bought out Comcast's uh, share of Hulu, so now they have total control over Hulu. Uh, Hulu has a lot of NBC Universal content on it, and they said they're not getting rid of that content for at least uh, five years. I think it said 2024. It, NBC can can still keep putting stuff on Hulu, but. Um, NBC is going to start their own free streaming service sometime in the next year. So they're probably going to start putting a lot of their content on there. But if you, it's likely that you're going to be able to bundle Disney plus and Hulu to and just pay one fee and you'll have Hulu and Disney plus, which is, I mean, it kind of feels like Disney's completely taking over all media, but at the same time, that's kind of what we've all been asking for is being able to bundle some of these services together and, and just get packages where we can get more uh, more of that content that's out there instead of having to subscribe to several different things at one time. So mm-hmm. I just want to throw that out there and see what you guys um, thought about the uh, the fact that Disney is uh, taking over of another thing that <laughs> that we watch. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. Uh, well, I mean, I mean uh, I'd, I'd, go ahead, Rick. Eventually, uh, antitrust laws are going to come into play, but. Like you said, you know, it, the the more centralized this stuff is, uh, you know, the better it is for us right now. Now, if it gets to the point where we've got like two companies that own everything and they're like, "Screw all of y'all, we're jacking the prices up, and we're paying as much as we were for cable," then it'll be an issue. But I I don't know if that's a foreseeable problem or not. You know, the the funny thing to me is having worked in the cable industry for almost twenty years. Um, the biggest complaint we always heard was we want a la carte programming, a la carte programming, not this must carry crap. And now we have nothing but a la carte programming. If you really want to cut the cord and now people are saying, well, let's bundle some of this together. You know, it's a little <laughs> too a la carte now and it's just make up your minds. You know, well, that's the, that's the, the, the complaint comes in that, uh, everybody, they want to, when they say they want to have a la carte programming, it's like, they want to be able to, I want this channel and I want this channel and I mm-hmm. want this channel. And, but they don't understand that the way some of these work is that one company may own four channels yeah, and they're going to give you all of those. They're not going to give you just one or two of them. And, um, and so they don't want to have to subscribe to, uh, Netflix to watch, you know, orange is the new black and then also subscribe to CBS so they can watch star Trek and things like that. You know, um, See, I think I like it. I like it the way it is right now because we've got Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime um, and when Star Trek is running, CVS All Access, and we're still paying not even half of what we were paying on our cable bill every month that had hundreds of you know channels that we never even looked at. Mm. I mean, I look at, I go up, up and down in my cable box and there are literally 100 sports channels that yeah. I have never seen. It's it's just, and I'm paying for it, but mm-hmm. what are you going to do? Yeah, and see, I live in an apartment, and the cable, the cable and the internet are packaged together. So we have cable, but we hardly ever watch it because I've got an Amazon Fire Stick, and I watch mostly Netflix and mostly Amazon Prime. And if I'm really in the mood for watching like some classic TV or something like that, all of the um, all of the the, the networks. You know, they have apps on there, and you can watch some of their classic programming on there. The NBC app sucks. I use that regularly. <laughs> I have to, because I don't own Quantum Leap on any kind of media, and yeah. I can just so easily watch it for free there, uncut with the original music and everything. Um, I have I have really no problems with it, but I don't use apps to watch TV. I'm still like a cable dinosaur. Yeah. So I just I sit down in front of the TV and I watch stuff when it's on or what's been DVR'd. I don't stream that much because I still have a setup where I have to hook my computer up to my TV if I want to watch it on the big TV in the living room. I don't have like a Apple what's that Chromecast or whatever that is. I've Chromecast, got a fire, Apple I've TV. got a Fire Stick, yeah. It's a fire Stick, yeah. I mean the only time that I'll watch something on my device is if it's like a like CBS All Access. I watched most of Discovery on my phone. And I started watching Rick. You had recommended Love, Death, or Love, Death Sex, and, and Robots. Robots. 
I was watching well, that on my iPad last night. So, I mean, so I'll occasionally make the switch, but yeah, I'm still stuck in the 20th century when it comes to just the way I consume <laughs> a lot of shows. Yeah, you're, you're, my, my wife and you have that in common because uh, we were just talking about it tonight. She's, we still get a DVD, we still get DVDs from Netflix. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> really? Just, I mean, we want, we, we, we still, we, too. we stream it as well, but she, you know, and I don't even bother with it anymore. I just, you know, if I want to watch something, I stream it. But like, she'll get a DVD and it's usually something that she, that can't be watched when the children are around. Um, but she won't watch it on her computer. And so because there's no penalty, you know, there's no, no get this back by such and such a date. These yeah. DVDs will sit next to the TV for months, sometimes a year. Wow. And then she'll either finally get an afternoon where she watches it. Um, or she'll just send it back and decide she'll, you know, she didn't want to watch it. Um, and I've like tried and tried to, you know, if you can get past watching, not watching things on your, on your computer, you'll be able to watch a whole lot more. It's just, she just won't do it. But she was the channel surfer of the two of us too, before mm -hmm. we got, got rid of the cable. I don't know if you guys have uh, around here. We have, we have Facebook pages that are called like what's happening in such and such town. Uh, like I live in Leeds, so we have a what's happening in Leeds and it's just people posting things that are happening around town. And mo most of it is people uh, that lost their dog or something like that, you know, but, uh, recently the Hardee's here in town closed down Hardee's. If you're not from this area, Hardee's and Carl's junior are kind of the, kind of the same thing. Um, so I've everybody's been on restaurant. there. Yeah. Everybody's on there. Uh, talking about what's going to be in the old Hardy's building, blah, 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 blah. And people are making, you know, making crazy stuff up. Oh, it's going to be an aquarium, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> somebody came on there the other day, <clears throat> excuse me, and they said, uh, I think that they should open up a video store <laughs> and wow. they should charge the same prices as Redbox. And I'm like, I don't think you understand why Redbox is so cheap. <laughs> 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 because they don't have a building. <laughs> Uh, and I commented in there, I was like, yeah, while we're at it, we should open up a phone store that sells nothing but rotary phones. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, Sean, uh, or anybody, I'll, I'll throw it to the group. Um, Disney is probably the most brand conscious company out there. I mean, they have strict sort of branding and adherence to their standard, whatever that standard is. And for them to now own Hulu, which has some really different kind of programming. Um, are you guys concerned as consumers that everything is going to eventually become like, um, I guess the, a Disney commodity that has to fit a certain form because I can see this going one of two ways. It's like Disney getting its hand into many different pies to d diversify its revenue stream. And that's great. But at the same time, will it inevitably become sort of yet another channel that, uh, or another outlet for Disney to peddle its own sort of brand rather than the different voices that we're hearing now that that to me, Rick, it, I didn't think of the price at first or the, the consolidation leading to a monopoly. I thought of just a chilling effect on any kind of different kind of voices because Disney is so strict and stringent when it comes to that kind of thing. They uh, are when it's got their brand on it, like, spe you know, Disney specific, you know, Walt Disney presents whatever that stuff, you know, thou shalt not deviate one angstrom. But they already own a bunch of companies that make. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've all they've owned like Touchstone and Miramax and and other uh, other companies like that. They own a lot of companies that put out lots and lots of different kinds of content stuff you, you, stuff that you don't even realize is owned by disney you know uh if you look at the books you know disney has owned them for years and years so uh so yeah i mean i i don't i think that disney is probably going to keep their branded stuff their disney branded stuff will stay on the disney plus site and then the hulu site they'll put some of the other the other content that may maybe the r-rated stuff and stuff that they don't want to associate with the disney the castle and tinkerbell and all that right. <laughs> you know mini right. orders right. of so. pizza and... yeah <laughs> well also we've seen um you know the way disney has handled uh lucasfilm and marvel has been a very hands-off uh 
you know, kind of model of you guys just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we just, you know, all the checks come from us now and all the profits go to us now. So I, I, I think we'll see that from Disney. Until you actually go to Disney World and then they've got, uh, uh, you can buy C-3PO Mickey ears. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know for a while when the, 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 the new Star Wars movies came out and there was a lot of just goofy commercials and stuff on TV and I was like, Star Wars has lost its dignity. And then I did some digging through YouTube, some commercials from back in the 70s, and oh, yeah. know, late 70s and the 80s. Disney never or uh, Star Wars never had dignity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lucas Lucas was hawking all kinds of stuff back then. 